around internet land, all my internet friends, I'm Andrew, as always, your guide through modern, and today, um, we've got something that looks, well, looks just like Affinity, right? But then you just, eh, oh, there's the spice, there's the flavor, it's Experimental Frenzy Affinity. Um, I've been in a bit of a rut, deck building wise, this past week-ish, uh, that's why we're a little late. And whenever I go in a rut, I kind of just go back and play decks that I've played before I started doing Tier Fun. And that's mainly Affinity and also Delver, but I don't know. Don't really play much Delver these days. And uh, I started looking at this Affinity list, or Affinity in general, and I was thinking, what? Is there anything I can do to spice this up? Maybe make some content, Affinity content. Um, doesn't always perform the best on my channel, but I always have a good time with it. And uh, I immediately turned to Experimental Frenzy. I think other people have been playing with it too. I saw, it was I think in second in that SCG regional event. Was it last weekend now? Sometime around. But they've been playing them in the sideboard. And I figured, hey, why not try them in the main? Um, a, it frees up sideboard space. B, um, it's the card I'm interested in testing. And I think it, it does a lot of interesting things in this list in particular. Um, if you think back, not too long ago, actually, Affinity was mainly... Most of the good performing lists in Affinity were playing Karn. Or even there, there was an occasional Antiquities War as well. Um, both those cards, I think, are fine and fun and playable. But I think Experimental Frenzy kicks both their butts um, pretty handily. Because, I mean, I should have done math, actually, before we got into this. But, I mean, look, we have eight zero drops. We have 16 one drops. Oh, uh, sorry, 21 drops because of Vault Scourge. Um, so eight two drops and one etch champion as a three drop. So the converted man, the average converted mana cost is incredibly low in this deck. Uh, basically, if you ever land an Experimental Frenzy and you have an Opal or a Spring Relief Drum, you're gonna go ooh straight into Value Town. Um, this deck is um, geared more towards fighting against the Jess guys of the world, the blue-white controls of the world. Heck, even Jund. Um, though I will say this is a whole lot better. If this was printed before Assassin's Trophy, it would be a whole lot better in Affinity. Assassin's Trophy is kind of a serving for this card in particular. But that's why we have three edge champions in the sideboard for Jund. Um, but yeah, uh, we, the only other change besides Experimental Frenzy over... Um, either a more edge champions or the uh, master of ethereum uh we've got bomat courier uh bomat is great at clearing your top card for experimental frenzy um for those who don't know experimental frenzy you can no longer play the cards in your hand but you can play the top card of your library so if it's the second land of the turn you can always attack bomat and clear it and then keep going in your second main phase um basically this hasn't always won the game, but it puts an intense amount of pressure. Uh, sometimes it hasn't won the game in my testing because I just start having too much fun casting cards, not trying to win the game. We'll see if that happens today. But yeah, it's um obviously the Affinity version. Oh, oh, oh. I actually wanted to change out the Spire of Industry for another mountain. I played against Blue-White Control, and this tends to make... The games where usually, say, your Blue-White Control opponent wipes your board once and has one path, you're... You're almost never going to win those games. You either win those games before they play those removal spells, or you're just not going to win them as an Affinity player. That's that's just life, you know? You trade explosiveness for a bit of a glass cannon. Um, this Experimental Frenzy uh, gives you inevitability in the long game, assuming it's not answered. Um, you don't really even care what your opponent done, does. You're like, okay, well, you answered me this turn. Can you answer me next turn? Uh, it's all about finding that cranial plating or even an arcbound ravager and you just rifle through your deck um, even edge champion is is i have I'm running edge champion over master of ethereum just because this deck's more about grind i don't even have a master of ethereum in my list as you can see we're actually pretty mono red uh, outside of ravenous trap um just because there's a whole lot of field of ruins paths ghost quarters around these days the blue white control matchup is the reason i'm running more red, and then only having red spells in the sideboard. So we miss out on dispatch, um, stubborn denial, counter spells, and stuff. But I've, I think I've just been, I've just been happy. Like I don't really care too much about in any matchup. Experimental Frenzy just does it for me currently. Um, in all the rough matchups that I would usually bring in, uh, the other stuff. It's also uh, like Thoughtseize and what have you. The other sideboard cards. It's also just great against. Um, I don't know. It's just, it's just awesome. I, I, hopefully we get to go off with it. 
Um, and you can see why I like it so much in Affinity. Um, sideboard, standard, instead of something like... Um, um, what's the card? The Wet Rock Damping Sphere. Wet Rock Damping Sphere. Um, we're running more Blood Moons. Uh, just, just because we're red. I was actually running a list earlier with um, Rituals. Um, and it was fun. Rituals and Simeon Spirit Guide. It was explosive, but if... Basically, if anyone ever dealt with the Experimental Frenzy, we it was very hard to win. Whereas this deck, it's it, you can just win without it Frenzy, and Frenzy is like the cherry on top I've it, I've found so far. Um, but we got Aether Grid. Uh, oh yeah, Stony Silence. This is good against Stony Silence because then it, we can eventually just overwhelm uh, with Etch Champions. Usually is our is our main source path to victory, or just attacking with lands. Um, yeah, that's basically it. This could be another braid. Um, I don't really mind having one Ancient Grudge. I mean, we do still have eight sources of green. I think that's enough for a single splash. We could splash more if we wanted. But a braid's been fine. Um, yeah. Uh, I, I was also toying with, uh, sorry, with Aether Grid in the, uh, in the main deck and, instead of Edge Champion. And that was kind of fun, too. But I didn't want to go too crazy uh, right away. Maybe later. Maybe we'll go crazy later. Anyways, this is Frenzy Affinity. Affinity Frenzy. Let's get in there. Let's play some matches and have some good old-fashioned fun. And here we are with Affinity Frenzy Match 1. I'm noticing I've got a little bald spot here. That's cool. Oh, also, there's been a lot of... Uh, I just noticed this. I forgot I had this on. A lot of uh, forest fires. There's been a pretty big forest fire near, kind of near me. I'm safe, but it's pretty smoky. So I got this cool bandana rather than the medical mask for... Uh, for pollutants. I don't think it works as well as those max masks, but it looks better. Oh! Oh, if one of these were a mountain, I'd probably keep this. So... I am inclined to keep almost any hand with Experimental Frenzy in it, but we won't this time. We've got better hands, and here's one. Pretty much keep... as The same rules for Affinity hands in, in terms of keepable hands. Um, we can't get three mana this turn, so I think I'm going to lead on Blink Moth. Bomat, get in there. Uh, Bomat's also been pretty great because this is more of a grindy... I don't know why I'm scare quoting. I, I tend to do that sometimes, just scare quote for no reason. I've Little things you learn about yourself when you start recording, <laughs> recording yourself doing things. Um... Okay, so this is going to be Mill. So I think this is going to be a pretty easy matchup. Um, play out the Ink Moth. Um, but yeah, Bomat tends to draw you a whole lot of cards or draws a removal spell, and you're kind of happy either way. So I think we can just win next turn if opponent doesn't have a black source. There's one, two, three, four, five... Six. No, we can't win next turn, but we can win the turn after. Okay, this is a glimpse. Ooh, mesmeric orb. All right, let's pop out our graveyards now because they're about to get full. Chock full and beefy. Um, we can wait one more turn. Don't show off. Ooh, that's, that's pretty good too. Um, yeah, we're gonna. We're going to hedge our bets here. I think we just win next turn. We could probably win with damage at this point, to be honest. Affinity has to just be a horrendous matchup for Mill in general. Oh, they milled an Archive Trap. And a Field of Ruin. So as long as they have black mana up, I'm not going to go all in on Ink Moth. Okay, looks like... Frank Sanity, cool. So... I like this build. Frank Sanity is really good. I I, I prefer the Frank Sanity mill builds, but it's not gonna it's not gonna help our opponent here. Four five Springleaf drum. We can play that. Um. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hang on, one. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six. I think, yeah, I think we're good here. So let's target Blink Moth. Tap you. 
sacrifice two, three, four, five. Put it here. Yep. And voila. That's how you just do the classic affinity thing. So uh, we didn't ruin affinity by putting it in there, obviously. It's just, it's kind of there to tack on a different angle. And uh, so we've, we've proven, <laughs> we've, we've proven affinity still works with the deck in it, I guess, or with Experimental Frenzy. Honestly, I think we probably shouldn't. We should, I don't think we should have Experimental Frenzy in the deck. Um, post board against mill we don't really we don't care too much about card advantage so much in this particular matchup i think we do want at least one ancient grudge so i might i might just do this it's still it's still fine enough i don't know if, if i was playing in a uh, in a tournament i would probably sideboard this out and bring an edge champion but i'm playing for entertainment and to show you guys experimental frenzy so we will we will maybe make suboptimal suboptimal sideboarding here for this, but it lo looks like it's not going to matter. This seems like a pretty great hand. Mm. And if you're wondering, this coffee cup up there, uh, Experimental Frenzy's flavor text is, uh, I think it was like, coffee is the mad aunt of dimension. Profane memento. Should I have brought in? Okay, well, they're going to they're gonna do their best. Let's see if it's good enough, though. Just play out our hand here. Try to be as efficient as possible. Bomat, get in there. So cards we have to look out for post-board from Mill. Um, Profane Memento, I guess. I'm sure they've got that three-mana Crypt Incursion, I think is what it's called. All right, so we're going to... Put our hand out here. And then next turn we'll have a cranial plating. Hopefully just doing its thing. Leave back Ornithopter. You never know. You never know what Ornithopter can do back there. <laughs> Not much. Uh, oh, two. Um, I did win a game against blue-white control in my testing by... Blocking uh, Bane, Bane Slayer? Bane Slayer Angel? Is that it? Yeah, it is. Blocking Bane Slayer with Ornithopter and sacrificing it to uh, Arcbound Ravager. So that was fun. It's preventing the life gain. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven artifacts. Seven, eight, nine, ten. We are cracking in four. Um, okay. Oh, they don't even have a land. That's unfortunate for them. We're not we're not gonna mess around. We're gonna get rid of the crab. Ooh! <laughs> uh, right on time, experimental frenzy. Um I don't think lifelink matters, but we'll find out. If we had an extra mana, we'd equip it to Ornithopter. It's an extra, it's one extra point of damage. But uh, yeah, it looks like we're not going to learn anything new here, other than Affinity is great against Mill. If you have a lot of Mill in your meta game, play, play Affinity. <laughs> All right, so I'm expecting this to be a fatal push. So this might draw out something here. Oh, it does not. Um, so tap you. Whip over here. So I assume they're gonna fatal push the ornithopter here. These Bomat couriers are a liability too. They're milling us. Oh, oh god, I thought that was <laughs> Oh man. Man, 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 man. I thought I thought that was going to be... Uh, oh, what is that two-mana artifact spell? 
Hercules, Hercules Recall. So they gain a life here, but we counter this. And I think we can we can kill our opponent here. Three, four, five. Arcbound Ravager, hell of a drug. Um, no reason to go anymore. Four, five, six, seven, yeah. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Yes, there is. Yes, there is. Ho, 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 ho. Oh, that would have been embarrassing. Uh, Profane Moment. No, stop. Stop sacrificing artifacts. Profane Memento would have gained exactly enough life. Okay. All right. That was almost uh, a good punt that would have gained me uh, many a hater from the internet. We avoided it. We checked the board state right at the last possible second. Ocular pat down of the board state. No big deal. Um, let's hopefully the next match is full of more frenzy, eh? And here we are for round two with Frenzy Affinity. Uh, this is a hand that I would never keep with typical affinity, but Frenzy Affinity, we're almost we're basically at four mana here. Gotta you gotta think about things when you have a different deck. We also get two signal pests on turn one, if my math is correct. It looks like it is. Which Oh, I've never been too sad about. Ooh, what are we playing against? Burn! The birdie bastards. Well, ooh, hey, how about that? That's pretty good. Um, well, as things stand, we can outpace a single monastery swift spear. Um, as always, we're looking for vault scourges against this deck. Vault scourge is our best card. But if not, we can crack in for four next turn. Each burn spell used on a signal pest uh, is three extra life, too, so can't be too sad about that. And that actually will matter uh, as long as they don't play Eidolon, or Eidolon, uh, of the Great Revel here, because uh, we've got good long game if they start burning our little robots. We will not be blocking here, though it is a theoretically juicy block. Wow, they didn't have anything. Wow, they didn't have two. Whoa. <laughs> Pretty great for us. They must have a burn spell here. They've got to have something. Why would they wait? There's no way. There's. I mean, it'd be the dream if they had five lands in hand, but there's no way. They, they also let us go to combat here. Hmm. Interesting play by the opponent. So I guess it could also, it could not be Burn, it could be the Steamkin deck. And they've got just a, a glut of the more expensive spells in hand. I'll tell you one thing though, this might end up being a long match. Okay, though, they, they went through. All right, opponent. It's a one part, I'm hopped up on coffee right now. Boop. Another part, uh, opponent is taking, playing very deliberately here. Um, yeah, we're just gonna wait. Okay, magma jet. Okay, so this is the more budget burn list. Nothing wrong with that. Magma jet. I've cast my fair share of magma jets over the years. <laughs> um, I'm hoping we just draw. One card on bottom, one card on top. I'm hoping we just draw that good, 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 good experimental frenzy. You, you can tell by how many times it's a good that I almost forgot its name. Um, we got the French press time going off, uh, bolting me. No, uh, signal pest, sure. I think if you were going to bolt a signal pest, you probably would have magma jetted one of them last turn. Um, let's bolt here. So now we're at a standstill. I don't have pests. I do have a Blink Moth now. We're just looking for that Frenzy. 
Um, pour some coffee while we wait. Oh, 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 almost spilled everywhere. And it wouldn't have even been on camera, so we couldn't have even got any entertainment value out of that. Yeah, that's, that's some good pouring sound. Hopefully you can hear it. Okay, all right, back, back to just playing Magic and not ASMR. Oh, that's some stiff Joe. Oh. All right, opponent. Okay, so we... There's a lot of dead cards at this point of the game. This is this was the downside to you keeping um, this hand in particular. If we don't draw... Did they even attack? I don't think it's worth it to trade here. Ooh, bow map. I think we play it still, but I don't think we attack. We're going into the combat zone, though, with this Blank Moth. Opponent's missing land drops, so they, the hand has to be stack Olad. No! No! Okay, well, we have gained nine life vis-a-vis -vis our, our robots. Didn't need to play that mountain, but sometimes you just go on autopilot. I don't think there's really anything our opponent will be playing around anyways, so there's there's not much equity in holding the mountain. Alright, that's fine by me. I'm expecting another creature here. Yeah. Oh, come on. All right, well, we're doing it. Bowmat for one. Draw one. <laughs> Bowmat cycling. Should have definitely held the land this time, but I don't think there's a world our opponent doesn't block anyways. Yoink. Come on, coffee machine. Experimental frenzy. Please, God, this is a great spot to show it off. Frenzy one time. Friend, not a frenzy, but that's fine, too. It's a win con. All right. Oh, no. <laughs> Another reason not to play out that mountain. So opponent has two burn spells in hand. Because if they had more creatures, they would have played them. I guess they didn't have enough for like something like Bedlam Reveler. They could they could have Bedlam Reveler in hand. But if they had one mana burn spell, they would have played it last turn. And they would have they could have been holding the land, I guess. Basically what I'm saying is that I will block now. Because I do not think. I do not think they have a spell in hand. Uh, and I would be wrong. Skull crack. Okay. Well, I lost an ornithopter. Um, at 10. One card in hand. These two creatures are... Oh, uh, that's a little bit. That's a little bit fine. Um... I'm almost at the point of the game where I'm considering blocking with an Ink Moth just to make sure one of these pra oh, one of these prowess creatures can't deal damage to me. We're definitely burning one of them. So what's their last card in hand? Interesting. I've got something. I don't. I don't think there's a. We'll, we'll find out what it is, but I. I think this creature dies. In every universe. Okay. Um, and we will let this tack through.
Ink Moth Nexus is getting in there, question mark? We'll see what we draw. Come on, Experimental Frenzy. That works too. So now opponent can't attack unless they have an abrade or something, which I don't think burn would have, but this is a budget burn. Arcbound Ravager, MVP, as always. Love that card. All right, Swift Spear. I guess there's a chance they were holding on to that. One, two, three, four, five, six mana. So we definitely could sacrifice this and probably the Opal. If someone, if an attack comes through. And then we'll go start cannibalizing our Darksteel Citadels if need be. Whew. We went from like a really quick and easy first match to... This should be going lightning speed, but opponents being a little bit deliberate. Not that that's a bad thing. I'm just... <laughs> buddy! Here we go. Dun, 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 dun. Play the, the Sonic song. Or no, Super Mario. I want the Super Mario. Ooh. Um, yeah, we will. We're not attacking with Bone Map. Super Mario Star Song. Alright, well... We kind of got there. Um, it is burned, so I will be attacking. Probably shouldn't have tapped the bow map. Just so we could clear this from the top of our library, but it's not the end of the world. I don't think it's possible to lose from this situation. Thanks, Experimental Frenzy. <laughs> I love this card. The more I play with this card, the more I think the mono red Steamkin deck should be playing this instead of um, Bedlam Reveler. I think it's, inc in fact, that's what I was going to record with, except I'd recorded kind of recently with mono red Steamkin, so I didn't want to, I don't know, I didn't want to double up. But we should have a stop on our upkeep um, in case we, there's a situation where this is a uh, burn spell. I get another Galvanic Blast because. On our upkeep, usually it ends up we get we tap out. Maybe there's a blast on top, and then upkeep blast, and then go to our draw step. I guess we don't need it right now. Okay, we're definitely double blocking here. The only way we lose is by letting these guys hit us. And the block happens, so sacrifice the meme knight. Let something happen here. If they don't have anything, we just let this happen. If they do, we go on to Springleaf Drum first. All right. If they were to give this Trample, I don't think they have enough spells in hand to really make to make this murderous, but you never know. All right, Magma Jet to the dome. We can play the slow methodical game. 21 to 15, my God. All right, let's, let's minimize this. Uh-oh, they're trying to get us. So this is a lightning bolt to the Ravager, but we've got just an embarrassment of artifacts, probably. Oh, well, we do, but I assume that's what's happening here. Shard volley. Okay, no. So, goodbye, Darksteel Citadel. All right, so we are at four. Opponent is down. Well, we'll sacrifice one more just to get rid of... So four. Oh no, there's one more power trigger. Okay, okay, no, 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 we're good. Let's see how they stack. 
but they're empty. We've got Arcbound Ravager and Ink Moth Nexus. That'll that'll do it. One card on bottom, one card on top. Um, float the mana, play the card. Ooh, another castable. Keep that one. Casting Ornithopter. Ooh, Memnite. Oh, no, land. Not two lands, though. Uh, here we go. We did it. We'd already done it, but now we're really doing it. I guess we should have floated black. Yeah. Opponent's seen enough. What would we... We would have cast the signal... Vault Scourge. We would have cast Signal Pest. We would have cast this other Cranial Plating. And then we would have ground to a halt. Um, this is the situation right here is why I'm not running four Frenzies. Um, usually... You'll have enough mana, even in something as mana light as Affinity, to cast this and, and at least go for one more. But um, the you do want to see the card, but you don't want you want to kind of minimize seeing more than one copy. So I'm running three. All right, to the sideboard. I'm pretty sure we're not changing anything. They don't have any haymaker haymaker level um, hate cards like. Uh, Stony Silence, so there's no real reason to change anything up. Um, Edge Champion's pretty dang good in this matchup, though. Usually you take out some Memnites when there's ground blockers, but I think we're just fine. We'll just run it back. You can make an argument for Aether Grid and Edge Champion. Um, that's about it. Torpor Orb, I guess... If God Torpor Orb is just gross looking to me, I never really looked at it all that close. What a ugh, Phyrexians. Um, if they had uh, Bedlam Revelers, which I'm sure they do, why not? If you if you are playing this budget burn deck and you're not running Bedlam Reveler, you really should. It's pretty cheap, I think. Uh, don't take my word for it. I haven't looked at prices in a while, but um, Bedlam Reveler in a budget burn list is a lot better than I think Magma Jet, personally. Oh, ooh. <laughs> well, we've got the no land, no, no land Mox Opal hand. So this is one, two, three, one, two. Yeah, I mean, I'm going to keep it. It's a little risky. Goblin Guide, come on, show me a land. Goblin Guide. Nope. Signal Pest. Um. I think we should lead on. I guess it doesn't matter. So, if there's a gut shot, this might have got us. Um, we should have played the Memnite last, I guess. And I'm gonna play Signal Pest first, just for max damage next turn. We're getting in for two, three, four, five next turn. All things, if all things remain as they are. What do we got? Nothing. You got nothing. Maybe they do have something. Tap two mana, so you, you got to think Magma Jet. Mm, coffee's good, guys. It's so good. Oh, yeah, that's some good geo. So next turn, we're going Bowmat. We might... We'll probably play Arcbound Ravager, even though it's less damage. Okay, what do we got? It's just... You, you want to empty your hand. You want this Arcbound out there to minimize whatever spot removal. Though I... Ooh, Signal Pest, Searing Blood. Nice, nice. Hey, we drew a land. How about that? Here you are. One. Two. Here you are. We're, we're doing it. We're doing it like this now. Um, going for the big boy damage. Boop. So opponent needs to... Hold back now, or I think they die. Eight, nine, ten. Oh, okay. 
we're having a braid. Let's pop these out. Pretty okay with that, all things considered. Seems that that's their turn, it seems like. I guess it's better than losing from their perspective, but it's pretty good for me as well. Ooh, okay. Tap. Um, actually we'll leave that up in case we need to block. Um hmm. Do we even attack here? Um, one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Not worth it if they have another braid. Um, yeah, sure, let's attack. Let's attack like this. Little sneakster. Eleven. Ha! Take that, opponent. Opponent. So this game's over, but but I would very much like to draw an experiment with Frenzy next. <laughs> I just I'm really in love with that card right now. I think there's gonna be Mono Red Steamkin will probably eventually run it. Just that card plus rituals and like a past in flames. Some weird storm steamkin hybrid, I think. Is on the on the horizon. If you guys are interested at all in me playing that for the next video, um, let me know in the comments down below. As always, your comments are very appreciated. Uh, I try to respond to every single person who comments. Um, some day, sometimes it takes a little long for me to respond. Sometimes it's it's quick and easy, but I try to get to everyone. If I haven't gotten to you, let me know, and I will. I will try to make amends there. I really value the community here. And uh, while we're on the subject of talking, um, cardsphere.com, my friends. The literal best place <laughs> to get your cards, singles, um, buy, sell, and trade. Uh, I'm not just saying that because they sponsor me. I really do think that it's an awesome service run by awesome people, and I wouldn't honestly be... I wouldn't be able to do this half as frequently without their sponsorship so big ups to card sphere let them know if you use their service and that i i have brought you to their door that would be that'd be awesome um all right uh, i think this is the most damage possible boop boop do we even want to? I guess we can we can play safe here. What's the upside in playing safe though? Um, can't get blown out by a burn spell. I like that. We can just get in for two here. Probably should have sent with an ornithopter as well, just in case something weird happens. If opponent burns this we just sacrifice it to the arcbound ravager uh we probably just should have sent with the arcbound ravager that was that was too conservative and also for those who don't know i do write articles for card sphere um it's typically on decks smelt eh decks that i have played here so if you want to hear if you didn't hear me talk enough about it when I was playing. Sometimes I have uh, different, just more complete thought processes and sentences, because sometimes talking while doing things, you, I at least, I tend to trail off and forget what I was saying. Part of the charm, I'm sure, of watching my channel. <laughs> All right. So we've got a smelt out of their hand. We've gotten a braid out of their hand and a searing blood swift spear sure opponent can never attack again mountain um yeah we're sending with the arcbound ravager this time and one ornithopter 
And you know what? Bow mat. So how how it's gonna go? We're gonna sacrifice this bow mat if they block. Um, excuse me. Whew. Coffee burps. Oh, coffee burps. Okay, we're back. Um, so we're gonna sacrifice bow mat if they block. Um, we will beef this thing up as well if they wanna make a f spicy block here. Opponent, with the way they're playing, might not even have time for game three. Okay, we we do like it like that. Um, we'll sacrifice this ornithopter. So, I could sacrifice one more artifact and kill both of these things, but... I don't really see the reason to, so we're just gonna just gonna go like this. All right, so now opponent's forcing some action, so then we can get a little bit more aggressive. A braid. I think they should probably be getting rid of this arcbound ravager. So now they're at three six. So I can only still only get rid of one of them, but that's fine. They only have one card in hand. Sure. All right, we do need to get rid of one. Boop. And while we're at it, I lied. I know. Couldn't resist. I do. I do hate getting rid of mana sources because I know what I want to cast is Experimental Frenzy, but we let this go through. Yeah, okay. Springleaf Drum, get back in there. We're attacking all out. Opponent has one card in hand. I. Well, I mean... They've been targeting my lands. If they have something like Shatterstorm, I'm actually in a bit of a bit of trouble here. Um, yeah, we let this happen. If they have a burn spell, we can't. Being aggressive there doesn't do much for us. Um, yeah, we'll wait. Skullcrack got me. Got me. Concede. So we're going to keep playing matches until we get into a good experimental frenzy matchup. Um, by hook or by crook, we're going to. But as you can see, I mean, we did get to see some frenzy action there. Frenzy's good. Can be. I think so. And here we are for round three. Frenzy affinity. A pretty standard affinity hand here. Not the burst. Hmm. With a single mana accelerant, I'd be a lot happier with this, but I think we're. Ugh. Uh, I'm gonna keep it. There's some matchups where this Vault Scourge is very good. I don't want to expose it immediately if it is burn. Let them bolt a signal pest first. Oh. Was I prescient? No, okay. All right. It's actually a pretty good draw. So we're aggressive enough here that they need something. Like even uh even a hollow one even two hollow ones next turn does that do it yeah probably one hollow one next turn might not though so we got that going for us another flame blade all right well they have their aggro start no <laughs> oh no that sucks all right well they're not doing anything it's 
pretty dang good draw. Um, three, four, five, six, seven. Sure. Attack again for seven next turn. Morphos, you got it. Um, I will Galvanic Blast a Flame Blade Adept if need be, but it doesn't look like I'm going to need to. Arclight Phoenix, okay. So it's um, Phoenix, ah, oh, it's the Phoenix uh, Hollow One list. That's pretty good. Ooh, they have? All right. So they're going to get rid of one of my pests here. That's four less damage next turn. And they'll have the Phoenix up. All right, this game just got hard. See, if they attack with everyone, we just bolt a Flame Blade Adept, I believe. Well, hang on. Four, five, six, seven. Yeah, we will just bolt a Flame Blade Adept. Or would we rather bolt an Arclight Phoenix? Yeah, bolt a Phoenix. They already burned through two mana Morphoses. They, I guess they might have a land. I was assuming they didn't, but. Okay. All right. This is a pretty good draw. So let's see. Let's do some math after we attack. So one, two, three. Three, four, five, six. So wait, one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven. Okay, that's not not lethal. <laughs> Ravager is a great draw. So we're gonna. Ooh. Um. Well, I mean. They have to have another bolt, right? Why else would they just nakedly do this? Oh, burning inquiry. That makes sense. So they discarded hollow one. So five. We're only getting in for seven next turn, and these flame blade adepts are beefy right now. We need, what do we need? Not that. So four, five, hang on, four, five, six, seven, eight. Wow. So if this was a Darksteel Citadel, we would have won. Crazy. Um, four, five, six, seven, yeah, no. If they have just, they didn't play the land last turn. If they had a land, we just lose because we can't block enough creatures. So I guess, well, I guess we'll just attack with Arcbound Ravager. Then I can at least block one creature next turn since we can't, there's no world we can kill them here. Yeah, we're just one short. Mm. I just needed to be a Memnite. All right, they went to combat. That's awesome for us. We 
We are going to double block one of them. <laughs> uh, I hate that. I hate that so much. There's no, There's absolutely nothing we could do there. I wish they would have just burned us. All right. Kudos. They had the bolt. Um, a braid isn't the worst to bring in here. I don't think we want ancient grudge too. Um, take out a memnite. We do want ravenous trap as well. <sighs> Frenzy's great if the game stalls out. Etch we go down on memnites and an etch champion. Just try to play that hashtag that grind. Mailman just came. Um, conversely, we could get rid of Frenzy. So I think I would get rid of Frenzy. Well, for Memnite? No, nah, let's let's run it back like this. Springleaf Drum gets a little worse with all these Memnites out, though. Mm, I'll run it back. Um, just a good old-fashioned affinity hand. We'll keep it. It's not, it's not really explosive, but it does enough. Um, what land do we, I don't think it matters what land we lead on. So let's lead on Nexus. Put the fear in him from turn one. We can abrade anything next turn. But I, I think our game plan is just land plating. No, land ravager. If they don't do anything too gnarly. Looks like they don't. Ooh, another ravager. I like where this is going. So I think we play the Ravager again next turn. Faith is looting, sure. Goblin lore and Arclight Phoenix. Another looting. So we're looking for, okay, only one Phoenix. That's good for us. Gut shot. Uh, I guess they just want their phoenix. That's fine. Phoenix gets in for three here. We can abrade it. I don't think I'm too scared about what their hand could be. If they had more phoenixes, they would have played... Oh, there's the hollow one. That's what I was worried about. Well, now we got to abrade that. Next turn, I think we play Ravager. Just gonna hope they don't get rid of I guess we can play Ravager and play it in Faithless Looting, sure. Come on, no more Hollow Ones. Not that they're that bad in this situation. Um, they're not replicating. Oh, and they have a bolt. Okay. Well, maybe they don't. Oh, a burning inquiry. Okay. All right. They didn't bin anything. Except for cards that... They didn't bin any more phoenixes or hollow. Well, it, hollow one wouldn't have mattered. They didn't bin any more phoenixes. So we're in a good spot here. So let's play Ravager... And I think I'm just going to play out cranial plating. Nothing too scary can happen next turn with just one card in hand. 
Oh, oh. I should never have six with a Ravager. That's a bad habit. Manamorphose into a Phoenix. No, Manamorphose into Manamorphose into a Phoenix into a Faithless Looting is the scariest thing that can happen. I guess they could also have gut shots. I like our spot, though. Okay. So they burn through their last Faithless Looting, I think. No, they've got one more. I don't think they attack here. Nope. Bowmat. Um, let's tap Ravager here. Equip the bow. I assume they block. Oh, they block there. That's interesting. Fine by me. So they have looting in the graveyard plus the two cards in hand. Well, now they have nothing. They bend another hollow one, and we bend. I haven't been paying attention to what we've been. We didn't bend anything too, 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 too good. So we still have hot coffee coming through, uh, experimental frenzy, and then op opponent. Opponent just conceded. Unfortunate. I guess we were going to win anyways, so it's never unfortunate, but I did want to top deck this frenzy. All right. Um. Does that make me want to change anything? Aether Grid's actually not the worst. Memnite. Do I want Memnite? I don't think so. I think we're fine. We did see they're running Rev... I mean, obviously, they're running Revelers, but... We didn't see a Reveler beforehand. Okay... We'll keep we're keeping this in the strength of Ravenous Trap. And if they just bin two Phoenixes here, it will all be worth it. They binned one, so we'll weigh it. Ornithopter. Springleaf drum into signal pest. That's all we got. Definitely no ravenous traps here. Love this card. So here's hoping opponent has two more faithless lootings, bins a million arc light phoenixes, and then we just get to get them. Aw. I think they wanted to replicate that. Oh. So why not the signal pass? They have a gut shot? Okay. Well, hope you like that. Um, we're going to lead on Blink Moth just because nothing for us to bolt. I guess with both of these Galvanic Blasts, we should maybe be prioritizing regular damage. So, yeah, let's just do it like that. One for you. <laughs> this is going to be a goblin more sure. As long as they don't, it, even, we can withstand one hollow one here with Galvanic Blast. Looks like they didn't get it. Oh, one land, please, one land. Um... We're switching over. Opponent had nothing. That's great. Um, we're not going to Galvanic Blast anything this turn. I don't think. I mean, I guess I would blast an Adept here. Well, let's see what they've been. Their deck is very explosive. And they can... Okay. They've got a Phoenix. Hopefully not two. Okay, just one. 
I am gonna bit. They only have one card in hand. Let's see if they even attack. They do not. It's gonna be very hard for them. To oh no! <laughs> it's gonna be very hard for them to uh, get that phoenix back out with one card in hand. They go for the looting here. Ooh, that's good. All right, we need to land. We need to land bad. We need to land real bad. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay. We. Oh, no. It doesn't tap for mana yet. Unfortunate. All right, next turn, maybe. Bolt? Okay, no bolt. Ooh. If we can just get this frenzy out in the next by next turn, I think we're just straight up fine. We can just totally switch to defense. They can't deal with frenzy. And we can just flood the board. Ooh, they had an anger of the gods. This Vault Scourge is doing work. Okay. So that's two spells they cast this turn. So if they have a gut shot, they can bring back Arclight Phoenix. They've been through over half their deck, so I assume they probably do have a gut shot in hand. Yeah, there it is. Oh, that sucks. So now we just need to draw land, because this Mox Opal is never, never casting anything. Oh, and they have two Phoenixes. I didn't see that. Dang it. Well, we're going to lose now. If this had just been a land... Oh. Oh, uh, oh no. <sighs> so we can play the cranial plating. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I mean, one, three, six, seven, eight, nine. We're, we're dead anyway, we slice it. Oh, that's depressing. This was it. This was the this was the game Frenzy was going to shine too. Unfortunate. Ugh, oh, that's so sad. But we've got more magic to be had. Here we are for another round with Frenzy Affinity. Got a pretty nice keeper here. So you know what we do with nice keepers? We keep them. Yes, yes. You're learning, Chad. <laughs> Ooh. Let's see how Affinity does against Birds of Paradise. I think it does pretty well. Um, let's slam out our, all of our stuff here. Signal Pest. Um, we're going to save the bow map. We could slam out Bowmat here, but I want to save this. Like it's, it's we're not getting we're we're, we're we're sacrificing one damage, I guess, and I guess a card. But I'd rather just draw the land next turn. Play out Edge Champion and Mox Opal. Green White could be Bant. We'll see what this Birds taps for. Voice of Resurgence. We need not worry for you. Ooh, ooh, child. So we are gonna save that. Do we attack with Bowmat? Hmm. That is the question. I don't think we do. Yet. I'd like this to stick around for when we frenzy. Ooh. Oh, <laughs> we are one step closer. Yes, indeed. So I don't want to just say we're going to win next turn, but I'm feeling very confident about next turn. I'll put it like that. We'll just have six here. Drink some coffee. Relax. I don't think there's anything our opponent can do. Getting rid of one of our artifacts wouldn't have even mattered there. Sure, you can attack, you can not attack. Uh, I do want to play this, but we're not going to. 
We can always save those for later. It's time to get frenzied. Land, zero drop. Two drop, womp womp. All right, let's get in there with Vault Scourge. So we are drawing that, which is a little unfortunate. Two of our better cards, three of our better cards in the matchup will be stuck in our hand. Frenzy, not pulling its weight here. That's fine. They're about to draw a path, which is also fine. We want, we want land at this point. Opponent doesn't attack. I would have expected an attack. Land. Um, we do. I do want to blast them, but do I? Would I prefer to blast the knight or the courser? Probably the courser. Just for card advantage's sake. I don't think we care about a be big beefy boy. Is that a boy? No, it's a lady. Big beefy lady. We can all be boys. Ooh, hello. Now I will care about the big beefy boy. Just doing experimental frenzy things. Don't mind me here, opponent. Let's see, do they just want another planes? I don't think they can get to four. Yeah. If they had a fetch land, though, we would not have bolted there. All right, I'm just tagging for one again. Because then they could have grown it to five, but thankfully Galvanic Blast is a phenomenal magic card. So we can sit fairly comfortably behind our, our wall, <laughs> our really... Tiny wall. I think, I mean, this game is pretty much over. Hilariously to say, but it is. If we end up hitting enough lands off the top, then we can just get rid of Frenzy and cast out our great spells here. If not, I'm more than happy to just slowly accumulate cards in hand and then play off the top. Collected Company here would be pretty good. Okay, I mean, that is big. And Gavany Township is going to be a beating eventually. Memni. Ooh, cranial plating. All right, that should do it. Ooh, Arkman Ravager. Don't mind if I do. Another Memnite. Sure. At this point, okay. Well, we hit we hit a rock or a stoppage, so we're gonna just equip. Oh, a tap. I'll tap you. Equip. Uh, I think that's the best thing to equip to you. I guess we can gain a lot of life, but this game's over. Well, they can block. So it's not over, over. Um, well, I guess, yeah, we should attack with... Um, I guess it doesn't really matter. So we just start sacrificing Darkbound Ravager. They do have a path, actually, so we won't do that. Should have attacked with Bomac Courier. I was too busy talking about what I should do to do what I should have definitely done, which is attack with Bomac Courier to clear this. Um, yeah, can't do anything about that. So we know they have path in hand. I don't see them getting out of this. But they haven't conceded yet, so you never know. We do block if anything, any shenanigans happen. All right, so play the Bowmat. Ooh, play another Bowmat. We'll save our red sources in that case. Galvanic Blast. Hey, whoa. Um, I think we're just going to call this good. Attack with everything but an Ornithopter, so we can switch this back. Okay, let these triggers stack. We want to be able to switch it at instant speed. 
Uh, so Bowmat's on the stack. We will bolt face. And that should wrap it up. <laughs> this hilarious stack. Okay, opponent, opponent's not conceding yet. I don't know where I can put this to make it a little bit out of the way. Okay, Springleaf Drum, sure. If we get another bolt, we will we will likely just cast it. Bowmat's doing its clearing thing. Yada yada yada. Okay. I <laughs> experimental frenzy, we finally did it. So they're gonna path this guy, I assume. They could have two paths, I guess. Ah, they, they could see it. They just wanted to see what was happening. Um, So against blue-white, or green-white, we definitely want all of our edge champions. Want all that nonsense. Go down on one Darksteel Citadel and probably a Springleaf Drum. Now we'll cut, out, cut down some Memnites as well. Just to make ourselves a bit less susceptible to Stony Silence. <laughs> opponent was saying I'm not very social I'm telling him I'm busy narrating Submit the deck. So this is a bit top heavy. I could definitely, we could also get rid of some Ravagers and Platings, to be honest, and just rely 100% on the our enchantment and edge champions. Opponent sympathetic. Um. Could also, I mean, I'm not too concerned about the graveyard. Edge Champion is bonkers against these kind of decks. Any deck that isn't running board sweepers and is wanting to win through combat, um, Edge Champion's great. Uh, this is, I mean, we got an accelerant and interaction. I'll keep it. I want my coffee, though. Bit land heavy. Ooh. Um, hmm. One. Well, shoot. I think we've got a... I think I'm just going to bolt this right away. There goes our explosive hand. <laughs> it wasn't that explosive anyways. Well, mana heavy hand from our opponent. But we do get to get in with our bow mats. Which we might actually be in the business of sacrificing them next turn. Just because our hand's kind of bad. Bad. This opponent has four mana next turn, probably five. Assuming they hit a land drop. A little bit scared. Knight of Autumn, okay. I think I get rid of the Signal Pest or the Mox Opal. Yeah, they go for the Pest. I think that is smart play. Smart play, opponent. It is kind of... T it's a little... Oof. Well... I guess we want the second ink moth. It's a little uh, tempting to get rid of both of these. Whichever one the knight blocks, we will get rid of. That's the one.
pretty great. I think we played our land this turn, so we won't play Citadel. Whoop. And we might as well equip. So this likely means our opponent will leave back the Knight of Autumn or they'll play something else. Ooh, I don't know. I wish I hadn't equipped there. I'm going to get punished for it, aren't I? Ah, dang it. Yeah, I didn't think about it. I really wanted to leave up red to sacrifice and get these two cards, and now I'm... Oh. Oh, thank God. Okay. <laughs> it's just cranial plating. We care less about that than typical affinity because, A, we've got these two cards coming. We know we've got hot coffee just raring to go next turn. Well, eventually. So... Obviously, you want to have the plating. Oh, there it is. There's our hot coffee. It's almost like we willed it into existence. Okay, there. There's literally there's something in my roof. <laughs> All right, there's four mana. So unless they have enchantment removal, ah, oh, unfortunate. Um, now nah, we're gonna wait. I do want to play this, but I think it's safer in my hand than under Bowmount. This might also might be a path or something. Okay, opponent's got the land finally. I think we have a pretty dang good matchup against Value Town, which looks to be what this is. Okay, I mean that's that's gonna be good. We'll get hit for four here. We're gonna have an army of blockers soon. Okay, there's one. Ugh, gross. So we are going in with Bowmat here, which means we're getting rid of Etch Champion, but we, we have more to draw. That's a good draw. And we're not activating it either. Oh, opponent was scared enough. It's fine by me. Um, I think we don't... I think we'll leave up the Ink Moths just for max terrifyingness. Ooh. Well, we hit an unfortunately not too explosive hand. Let's move their library up here and make ours small and put it here. Um... I guess we equip. Threaten anything that comes at us. Path to exile. I'm actually kind of happy to see that. More mana the better at this point with Experimental Frenzy out. What do they got? Knight of the Reliquary. Okay. We do need to start assembling bodies for blocking. I, do, I will block anything that comes at me. One, two, three. Even even scavenging is. I block. I let that through. I block that for sure. Um, I might even activate Ink Moth Nexus here. One, two, three, four, five mana is probably enough. I guess not, though, because we can just threaten lethal over the next two turns. So let's just block one. Um, that's a great draw. We will play it... We'll leave up with one red source, I guess. I want to play that, too. I'm 
I'm gonna leave up Opal over the red source. Punished. Um, do we attack with the bow map? I do want to keep going. Yeah, we can get rid of a plating. I think we're also even less likely to get blocked here because it's now a Ravager. Okay, that's good. Um, opponent's got one card in hand. I think we would know it if we were paying attention. I feel like I say that every time I'm playing against uh, Corsair Crucifix. Um, boop. Okay, you did your job, Bowmap. We get this Mox Opal out. We also get to sacrifice it, this one. Yeah, da, 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 da. If you're thinking that this game seems very well in hand, or anytime we have Experimental Frenzy out, games seem very well in hand, you would be right. Oh, Schnoot, no! <laughs> Uh, magic, it lagged, the client lagged a little bit and I double clicked on accident. I wanted to cast this Arcbound Ravager. That's unfortunate. And then I compounded that by not equipping plating once. But it also represents, ooh, what is this? Oh, scavenging his time, sure, sure, sure. So unless they have, um... Red, ooh, Elspeth. Unless they have red mana and um, Kessig Wolf Run, we should be in the clear in this game. If they don't attack with Knight, that will be if they that will be the tip off that they might have Kessig Wolf Run, but there's nothing we can really do about it. Okay. So we block both of them. They have a path in hand. One, two, three, four, five, six artifacts. Okay, are they going? Aggro. Having the second Arcbound Ravager out would be very good here. Okay, so we're going to block like this. They're going to path the Ravager when we go to Sacrifice. I see him. Sure. And sure. Having a Ravager would be so good here. Oh, got to get over it. Fine by me. So they have Elspeth coming up, which means they're not going to fetch. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. Okay. So not going to take any unnecessary life total loss. This is a great draw, though, because now we can start gaining life. Um, so they have Path in hand. We don't have double black. I think we just start accumulating. No reason to go for it this turn. I guess we could. Hmm, that's a good draw. So let's let's get a stop on our upkeep. Um, sure. They have one path. Hmm. This is the one creature I really didn't... Let's see, do we want to get this any bigger? 
Four, six there. Equip. I want to keep this Galvanic Blast. No, we can't because Elspeth's coming. So we can't make anything too big. So we'll make this Ink Moth big. Target you, boo boo. Okay. So we don't we also don't want to shuffle because we want this galvanic blast. And we also don't want to attack with bow mat. Okay. Attack for five. Opponent likely lets it through. They might block. Okay, so now that means on upkeep, we blast this bird and we just win. Fingers crossed. <laughs> so we know they're drawing Elspeth here, which does nothing on this board. If we had, say, put these counters on Edge Champion, we would have just killed our Edge Champion, or really anything. That's another reason why we don't want to equip Cranial Plating here, because we would die to an Elspeth activation. At this point, I don't think it matters... But it's best to, always best to play, play optimally, optimally when you get a chance. All right, opponent's going in, yada, yada, yada. Unless they have another flyer, this game is over. We went in hard mode by activating this Ink Moth instead of playing Ravager, but we got there. The only thing, obviously, there's um, Fracturing Gust could have got us, unless opponent's been sandbagging that the whole game. Uh, if they have, kudos to them, because <laughs> they got me to tap out for my, my land blockers. They actually can't play Elspeth, because then they just die to Ink Moth. Maybe they... This is a complicated board state, so they might not realize... There's Elspeth. All right, we got there. We block Edge Champion. They've got to attack with at least one more to make it worth their while to even attack here. Yep. All right, upkeep. Galvanic Blast that anyways, just to show that we had it. Even if they hadn't tapped out for Elspeth. Ooh, another Galvanic Blast. No reason to go for it. Um, also, no reason to not deal a butt-ton of infect damage, I don't think. If I get got by something here, I'm going to be very sad. I guess they could have one path in hand. And they Knight of the Reliquary something away. If so, so be it. Looks like they do. Oh! We could have attacked with both, but we didn't have the mana to really... We could have attacked with the... Fi that, that would have done it. We attacked with the 5-5 five, five and uh, equip. We didn't have the mana to do that. Okay. So that's not so bad. What? Oh, the lands must have... I guess they're over here. Um... Do we play another plating? Sure. That was dangerous. So 
So Fracturing Gust is still alive here. Man, if they have Fracturing Gust, I'm going to be so sad because we did have the win there. Let's see what this is. What could it be? Gavany. I don't think that does it. We have four blockers to their six attackers. Yeah, I think we're still good here. They did they made it as close as humanly possible though. So block, 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 two, four, six, seven. Yep. One, two, we have enough artifacts. We don't have to worry about losing Metalcraft. Um, sure. Block. 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 One, two, three, four, five. Blink Moth. Let's just, let's just see how much this is right now. Seven. I don't think there's a way we lose this, just in case. Deal even more infect damage. And that's why we keep Ink Moth Nexus in the deck. Whoo-wee! <laughs> we definitely don't win that without Experimental Frenzy. Um, you know, it remains to be seen. Maybe if, maybe if it is more at home in the sideboard, maybe not. But, man, it gets you out of some tight situations. Jeez, that was a great game. And here we are on the play with Affinity Frenzy Affinity. Um, perhaps the last match we play, depending on how this one goes. Um, even a bit too land-heavy for my tastes. Uh, I guess it's all right. We have outs towards that card. <laughs> um, let's lead on Blink Moth. We have the upkeep stop. We have the upkeep stop. Let's take that off. <laughs> I was like, why are we lagging so much? Why is Magic Online such a laggy game? I thought to myself, as I blatantly had an upkeep stop. <laughs> so next turn, we ooh, Valakut. Interesting. Let's signal past and then get in for one. It is a little laggy, though, I think. Might have to reset the client if we play another one after this, but I, I think this is the last one. So we got four mana next turn. Edge Champion will not be played, but he dies for our sins. May Edge Champion rest in peace in our hand. Hmm. Got some good lighting going on. Cool. Ooh, green, blue. Oh, does that change anything? I think not. I think we just want to get this down ASAP. Mox Opal? Ravager, no. Okay, well, our hand's gas. Hopefully we can just flood the board in the, these next couple of turns. They don't have, well, that's not true. They might have Cryptic Command main deck, but typically the Teamer Valakut lists do not have much interaction for enchantments pre-board. We're doing it. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Feel the frenzy. Can you feel it? <laughs> I feel it. Do you feel it? The frenzy, that is. This is going to get countered. Remand. Pretty dang good against frenzy. You got another remand? <laughs> I 
you gonna remand a Memnite opponent? <laughs> oh, come on. Resolve or not, let's get on with it. I'm feeling the frenzy. There it is. Oh, another card. Sure, I'll play it. Another card. Sure, I'll play it. And I don't think we played a land this turn. Nope. Oh! Uh, well, I guess we can get rid of that. <laughs> we might still go post-combat. Pretty good turn, I guess. I don't know. Let me know. Let me know if that was a good turn or not. I'm pretty sure it was. There just isn't another card in Modern that can do this. This card is very powerful if you jump through the hoops. The deck building constraints for it. All right, I'm ex I'm I'm fine with this. So opponent could cast to bring the light, but I don't think we would die. Um, yeah, we'll play that. We'll play this. We'll play this. We can't play that, but Bowmat will be be there to save us. Um, actually, no. Let's just keep let's keep the lands back in case there's anything gnarly. If they have a cryptic here, now we get to activate Blink Moth at least. Tap draw, sure. Should have uh, floated some mana here. Not that it is going to matter in the long run, I don't think. Oh, this was already... This was this turn. You play so many cards, you forget. <laughs> Boop. So we still might die. I think we're in Valakid range now. That remand on this Arcbound Ravager saved our opponent the game. But they need something here. Okay. Um, we'll just go to combat. Another Cryptic. So if it's another Cryptic, this time we are going to float some mana, just because we want to play this Galvanic Blast too. Um, um get... Blink Moth up and at it. Get Ink Moth up and at it. Galvanic Blast up and at it. Ooh, Memnite. So now we're at the point where we can definitely next turn 100% for sure. In fact, we probably should have this turn if I was thinking about it. Got rid of Frenzy, cast a Ravager, and just won. That would have been good too. Okay, another plating. So if opponent has Bring to Light, we are just dead here. We did we did a whole lot of cool stuff, but we did die. Looks like they might have it. Yep. Well, sugar. Cryptic Command still wins. So yeah, last turn, if we had gotten... I think we might not have had enough mana? I don't know. Let's see. Let's see if these, these might have killed us. That's pretty hilarious. 
I was thinking I'd be able to attack and gain some life, but I didn't think about double cryptic command. They might only have one Valakut. That could save us, too. One, two, three, four, five, six, times three is 18. Yep. That's on me. We won't let them go through it. We, we won't force them to go through it. Well, even, even Frenzy can't help us. So that was on me for playing out those silly, silly cards. Um... Blood Moon's pretty good here. I think I like it even more than Etch Champions. I'd rather my three drop, like we're gonna be fine aggressively, aggressive wise. I'd rather my three drop um, just win the game. Blood Moon would. Um, we could also take out Vault Scourge instead of Memnite. But I think this is fine. Vault Scourge is great if it connects um, and doesn't lose us the game because I cast it and we don't get to connect. Uh, it actually went through my mind. I was like, is this going to... I didn't think it was going to lose us the game. I was like, no, nah, we'll be fine. We'll be fine. We'll, we'll keep this. Hand does nothing except it has Blood Man. Opponent put me on... Interesting. I almost have six there. If we can draw a zero drop here, we I think we just win. Blood Moon's going to be too strong for them. Now, they probably do have enchantment hate after seeing our insane game turn last, our insane, insane experimental frenzy deck that we have here. Search for tomorrow. Okay. Well, zero. Oh, dang it. Uh. It's unfortunate. We're still going to try to slam Blood Moon, but I'm less confident about it resolving. Yes, okay, sweet. So Blood Moon coming through in the clutch, per usual. They don't even have access to green, which their enchantment hate would be in. I can't believe I just did that. I can't believe I just did that. I wanted to click on the mountain. No. That's so bad. I can't believe I just did that. Oh, oh well. So we obviously wanted to play Blood Moon that turn. Pretty sad that we didn't get to. We are going to attack with Ink Moth again. We're not going to quit plating. I'm expecting them to do something here. Gonna play plating. I'm sure they have cryptic. Man, Blood Moon would have been so good. I think they're thinking about bouncing the Ink Moth. Hopefully that means they play something. I really want them to tap out next turn. Go to combat. We have to just be dead here. It's so frustrating. It's 
Snapcaster Cryptic, okay. This is such a such a winnable match. I can't believe I did that. Gotta get out of head. Smack it. Smack it out. Smack out the bad feels. Now we're just dead. Oh. Well, okay. Okay. Oh, if we end up getting it to play this Blood Moon, we're going to be very lucky. I still have Cryptic Mana up. Interesting. So, one, two, three, four. One, two. Yeah, we don't have enough mana. So, let's just attack with Bowmat. Sure. Well, I think if they had the cryptic, they would have used it. Okay, we got there. They might still have the enchantment hate, though, now. We would have got them earlier before they got all their basics, which is the real bum zone here one two three yeah we're just gonna jam frenzy okay feeling a little better we're not taking damage here <laughs> okay should have equipped okay we still have time All right. As long as they don't have a removal spell for this Blood Moon, I think we're good. Okay. Whoo, man. That was awful. I, I would have really, really been sad about losing that one. We had the Blood Moon. We had everything we needed. We just didn't get there. Because I clicked on the wrong thing. <laughs> uh, but we got lucky. Should not have won that. Um... Do we even care about Galvanic Blast? Would I rather have Edge Champion? Or even Memnite? No, I think we're fine. I think we tax our opponent enough, as is. Now they have to worry about Blood Moon. I mean they put us on the draw last or on the play last time, so let's see if they do it again. No, they why did why did I think that? I thought we just won game one because we went off. Um I'm gonna mulligan this. Similar hand. Do we keep the Blood Moon without the red source? I don't think so. Well, there's the red source. <laughs> so next turn we lead on Ravager and then Plating. Sorry, Signal Pest, you're too slow. So, coming in with Memnite, um, if they want to trade, we will just let that happen. I don't think they do, though. But I will call the bluff. So, they've got their basics. Blood Moon's not going to be as good anyways. No Cryptic Command here. We're just going in. They might have a Bolt. But that's the only thing we're worried about here. 7 damage.
If they bolt it, we'll just sacrifice to the Ravager. We're not going to try to go all in because then that'll still lose to both um, Cryptic Command. Okay, draw two discard. It loses to both Cryptic Command and Anger of the Gods. So we want to try to stay as flexible as possible for as long as possible. Okay. Electrolyze. They bend Electrolyze and is a charm. Well, they must have an Anger of the Gods. Sorry, Electrolyze and Island. Electrolyze is pretty good. on. I guess it's not phenomenal on this board with Arcbound Ravager, but I would have kept it unless I had a better option. Looks like opponent has a better option. Here's Bring the Light. Well, let's see what they get. Shatterstorm. That'll do it. That will do it. Okay. Now we just got to hope they don't also have um, uh, whatever that card is. <laughs> Scape shifts. Because we are dead to it. Force, scape shift. Oh, is it? A oh, anger. They had it both. Oh. Oh, that hurts. Okay, as long as they don't also have an, a way to win the game here. Hopefully they just have nothing. They have too many good cards. They can't have anything more. If they shock here, we're dead. Okay. Well, no, they don't have to shock. They already have two green. So we got a five turn clock here. That's not going to cut it. Even if they've got air. It doesn't look like they have air. Oh, they have it. Ah. Uh... <laughs> well, as you can see, even even when we had our sweet, sweet Experimental Frenzy turn, we lost to the power of Cryptic Command. So we're not necessarily breaking the game, but you got to see the ups, the downs, the highs, the lows um, of, of the Experimental Frenzy affinity. We didn't get to play against Jeskai or Blue-White, but it is good against it. You know, if we hadn't bottomed that blood moon we would we'd be all right they might for all we know they have another all right let's just make sure they got one two three four five six yep 18 and yet again we died to our own our own uh signal pests not signal pests what are we gonna draw vault scourges there's the blood moon we were close we could have survived one a shatter storm or an anger of the gods not both not both that'll do us in this would have been a great, if we had the mana, this would have been a great game for uh, Experimental Frenzy, but alas, we did not get there. Anyways, that's um, that's a Frenzy Affinity. Um, the deck's a boatload of fun to play. I think Experimental Frenzy is a great card. I don't know if this is the shell for it. Um, Affinity in general is the shell for it. Uh, obviously, it's playable. It's really good in it, but I don't know if it's the best shell, yet again with the unnecessary scare quotes. Uh, maybe it'll be some sort of red storm, maybe red steamkin list. Uh, if you guys are interested in seeing that, let me know in the comments. Um, but yeah, um, as you, like adding three, adding three frenzies doesn't neuter affinity. Um, we had some good, like most of the games actually were pretty, pretty good affinity, just game plan games. Uh, and then we also had sometimes where frenzy just absolutely just knocked it out of the pack. Um, I think the card's great. I'll definitely be playing more Frenzy Affinity until, I don't know, until everyone's playing Jund and four Assassin's Trophy. But even then, it's it te it's, ends up being a two-for-one because you usually get to play one card off the top. And you get one card out of their head. And, you know, if that's the deck that pops up to 
fight off the Experimental Frenzy deck. You've got Etch Champions. Mwah. Very good in that situation. You're much worse off against the blue, the green-black rock decks, which also run Damnation. Because this card is great, but uh, it can't beat Damnation. It also can't beat Chatterstorm, so I'm kind of glad we didn't bring those in. Uh, yeah, anyways, that's it. Hope you enjoyed. I will be back again with content. Um, probably not this another one this week, but there will be one next week for sure. And uh, ah, there might be a surprise Thanksgiving one, but don't hold me to it. Anyways, hope you guys, all the Americans out there, hope you guys have a good Thanksgiving. And if not, if you're not from this land of America, hope you're having a good and lovely week. And I'll see you next video, Space Cowboys. Till then, see you later.